Welcome, folks, to downtown Atlanta and Mercedes-Benz Stadium, site of this year's Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl and, of course, part of the college football playoff. Today, we have two of college football's elite colliding in a top-five game. Both teams hungry to make a statement here, as we'll see the number two team in the country, the Ohio State Buckeyes taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. deep to start us off. Bringing it out. It's Bell. Solid coverage there. They get it at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. The Bulldogs return team not doing the offense any favors there. Here comes that star wide receiver with the swag. He kind of rubs opponents the wrong way, Kirk, because he's saying, I don't care who you are, I'm going to embarrass you today. Well, Chris, there's a rumor that this guy actually DMs the opposing corners before the game that he's going to go up against as if to say, hey, it's going to be a long day for you today. But the wild thing is he actually comes out and single-handedly unravels defenses to the point that by the end, it looks like he's in the heads of the opposing secondary. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Looking for a gap. It's ETN. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. They lose the ball to about the 45. That's good for a first down. Just a really good ball here to be able to pick up this first down for the Georgia offense. And, you know, that being able to have a balanced attack, so important in modern college football. And Georgia does that as well as anybody. Georgia getting set with a first and 10 now. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. And he's going to stretch the defense, taking a deep shot here. He fires this throw and is intercepted. Finally able to take him down, but that's a great return after the pick. Now this just goes to show you, everybody makes mistakes. This quarterback is looked and viewed as one of the top quarterbacks in the entire country. But even he makes a poor decision, puts the ball into coverage, and he throws an interception in here early in the game. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. And now the handoff. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. You see, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Here's the second down play. handoff from the shotgun and they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup third down play for this offense looking to pass it's Howard gets hauled in here over the middle and he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. The Buckeyes will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Caught over the middle. It's Scott. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball inside the 10-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. 
The tight end drag route is the perfect option for offense, looking to scheme that position open for some yardage. Perfect execution here for a first down. The Buckeyes look to keep this drive moving. And the quarterback tucks it and takes off as a design run. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. So off the loss, it's second and goal from the 11. Tailback tests the middle of the defense. And tackled there by the defense. Well, they get stopped here on second down. It's going to bring up a third and goal situation. And from this far back out, wouldn't be surprised to see them go through the air. Just don't want the quarterback to take a sack here. Make sure he gets the ball out of his hands quickly. Great job for the defense so far. It's third and goal from a long way out. There's some pre-snap movement back in motion. Looking to the end zone. And it's picked off in the end zone. Well, this isn't exactly how we envision this game getting started. You see an interception early, you're thinking, okay, great opportunity. Bang, they throw an interception right back. So everything is even. We can start all over, and the offense comes back out on the field. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. After the first down loss, it's second and long from the 17. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Off the play fade, looking to throw the football. A sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. What a play here by this defensive line. You can get so caught up in the flashy offense of Ohio State in recent years. But let's not forget, they still play defense in the shoe and have such great history and tradition with that defensive line play. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? The pocket breaking down. Makes the catch. It's ETN. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. Quarterback had a lot of time to evaluate this defense, and most of his reads downfield appeared to be taken away, so he checks it down to his running back. How about the way this defense just runs to the football to keep him short of that first down? Great job by the D. They'll kick it away here. And this will be fair caught at the 35-yard line. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. They had some good things going on the last drive, but it ended suddenly with the pick. Let's see what they can do here. Yeah, the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Handoff here from the shotgun. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42, and they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision. Short throw complete to the tight end. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Well, this is what you see all over college football and even up, obviously, in the NFL. These tight ends are really recruited as big receivers, and they can get one-on-one -on -one matchups, and they've got speed after the catch. This is a short throw. You can see what he does after the catch, and he is a tough matchup for whether it's a safety, a nickel, or a linebacker. 
to throw. It's Howard. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. That completion makes it second and medium. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. It's a quick grab. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first half. Well, the defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. Buckeyes offense is on the move now. Grab down the middle. It's a Buka. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Boy, the quarterback does everything right except pitch the football. The defensive end's going to take him, which is great. That's what you want. But you got to get that ball out quicker to not allow that defensive end to make that play. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. The pre-snap motion from the offense. On third down, he drops to throw. Quarterback escapes the pocket. And they stop him at the four after an excellent run. These are the type of plays that are backbreakers for a defense. They thought they had him tied up. They thought they were going to be able to get him to the ground on the pass rush, but they're unable to do so. So he gets away, picks up a big first down, and now this sets up a first and goal inside the 10. The Buckeyes will line up now. It's first and goal. And it looks like the quarterback's going to run it. And it'll be smothered right at the line for no gain. Second down and goal, upcoming. As a design quarterback keeper, they'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, that's what we call assignment football by the defense. They took away the back and side, and there's a perfect play to be able to stop an athletic quarterback on the option. After a long drive, it's a third down. Is it a touchdown or a field goal? This is a four-point play. Dropping back, it's Howard. He's got it near the end zone. And he can't quite get in. They get him down at the one-yard line. Really tight coverage here by this defense. Now, they give up the pass underneath, but do a nice job of rallying to the football to keep him short of that first down marker. And now we've got a decision here on fourth down. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. And he knocks that one right through. It breaks the scoreless tie here, makes it 3-0. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. My gosh, this offensive line's got to do a better job of blocking. The defense was zero in on the ball carrier and absolutely nowhere to go for the offense. So from the 18-yard line, it's second and long.
From the gun, he looks for an open man. It's reeled in. It's Bell. Ball carrier tackled there. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Offense gets set up here. It's third down. It's a quarterback keeper. The game is enough to move the sticks. Ball at the 40. Boy, this offense does such a great job of putting the threat of the quarterback and the running back on this defense. It puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away. This time, the quarterback gets out and shows you the speed he has as well. Well, Ohio State has the lead here, Kirk. But at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. Georgia setting up with a first and ten now. Hand off to the single back. And we're able to tackle the ball carrier there. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Second down after that previous play. Back to pass. It's back. Looks left and finds his target there. Brought down and crosses midfield to the 46. Really good route here by the receiver, but I love the quarterback's ability to look off that safety and make that throw, and that's part of the quarterback's job here when you play in Athens for this Georgia offense. They've had some great quarterbacks over the years. Guys like Matthew Stafford and Aaron Murray and more recently Jake Fromm and, of course, Stetson Bennett, who won back-to-back -back national championships. And what they're seeing today from this quarterback, they got to be very proud of. Offense getting set. It's second down. Quarterback drops back. Caught near the sticks. It's Lovett. And the game just good enough for a first down. Now the receiver does all the work here. Man, that is easy living for this quarterback. Really good footwork by the receiver. Gets the separation. And at that point, it's just pitch and catch for the quarterback. This offense has gotten going at long last. It's another first and ten. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. Well, that's one of those plays that works better against certain defensive looks, but not every defense is the same. They were all over that one. Let's see if they continue to attack to the outside on the perimeter to set something up downfield. Second down play coming up. for a sack a big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense i thought the strong safety did a really good job of disguising the blitz waiting to the last possible moment and then the snap of the ball catching the offensive line off guard nobody saw him he gets home free and comes up with a sack ninth play of the drive coming up this is a tough third and long To throw, it's Beck. Looking for his big tight end. And it's intercepted. He stepped in front of that bullet. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. It's third and long, so as an offensive coordinator, you can either play a conservative or trust your quarterback and take a shot downfield. They elect the latter, and it ends up backfiring on them. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. The last possession, they had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Can they find the end zone this time out? With the catch, it's Smith. Breaks a tackle, and he's got room. They bring him down, but he was fast enough to get that first down yardage. Nice throw and catch here for the Buckeyes. You know, Chris, it's hard to think of a time when Ohio State didn't have an efficient and prolific quarterback under center. 
solid game. They'll spot the ball at the 49. First down. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the plus 40. Well, that's a beautiful run here for the first down. Really living up to that reputation of the great backs that they've had over the years. Think about Archie Griffin and Eddie George, Ezekiel Elliott, J.K. Dobbins. Just so many great backs. We're seeing another one right here. First down here for this offense. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And that one produces a decent game. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Second down after that run on the previous play. Now here's the toss play. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Boy, how about the defensive speed there and team pursuit? They recognize the toss sweep from the middle of the field and show their team speed to be able to eliminate this play. Offense are going to keep the drive alive. It's third down. There's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. Close to the tight end. Can't hold on. Good defensive play brings up a fourth down. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. And the field goal unit coming on the field now. This is a daunting attempt from 54 yards out. Let's see if he's got the leg. And it's no good. He missed it. The lead stays at three after the miss. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. And the Bulldogs' offense is back out on the field. They had it going on the last drive, but it ended abruptly with the interception. Let's see what they can do here. They'll try to pick up the yardage on the ground. It goes backwards, losing three yards there. Second down play coming up for this offense. To the air, it's back. It's a short completion at the tight end. They stopped the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. So now it's third and short from the 43. Can they keep the drive going or perhaps face a tough fourth down decision? And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. They stop it at the 49, but that'll be a first down. Chris, we get so caught up in these wide receivers and their playmaking ability and getting them the ball in space. And, right, the defense has to pay attention to them. Often too much attention opens up an underneath drag route like this, and quarterback makes a good read. Nice first down. Georgia getting set with a first and 10 now. The tight end has got it. Boy, he has such great size. I just love this play call on first and 10. The defense is expecting a run. Instead, you go play action, and you throw it to the big man for some positive yards on first and 10. Second down after that completion. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Man, every defensive coordinator will tell you, I just want my guys to play fast. And how about that one right there? He almost ends up tackling the quarterback as he's handing the ball off. This offense is lucky they didn't end up fumbling. Now here comes the bunch formation. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. The running back has it on a screen now. The game is not enough for first down, so it brings up a fourth and short. A lot of times, this can be a tough play to defend because you're so concerned with getting pressure on the quarterback. But here, the defense does a good job of coming off of coverage and chasing down the receiver. The Bulldogs will line up to punt it away. And he 
he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the punt head's out of bounds. They're going to spot this very near the goal line. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. Single back takes the handoff. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Second down after that run on the previous play. To throw, it's Howard. Makes a quick grab. Finding space at the 20. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. That's a nice pick up there. They find some space in the zone and pick up the first down. Yeah, really nice call here, Chris, to be able to pick up this first down on this drag route. The quarterback does a nice job of being patient, waiting for that window to open up in that zone, and he put it right on the money for the receiver to have a chance to not just catch it, but eventually get the first. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. And they'll stop him after a short game. Second down after that run on the previous play. And he'll set up to throw. Makes a quick catch. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. You know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? Their own defense. And when I played, I used to have defensive guys come down and tell me when we'd have a long drive, how much it would allow them to rest and go out and play dominant football. The Buckeyes moving quickly down the field here. It's an out route, the catch made, and he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. Well, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Pre-snap motion from the receiver to the air. It's Howard. Receiver makes the grab. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. Third down play. Looking for a fresh set of downs. Back to throw again. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here, third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. And he boots it out of bounds not very long. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. The last time, they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? They stop him, but it's a first down. Snags a quick throw. Tackled pretty quickly, but that is a decent game on the throw. Second down after that run on the previous play. On the flag is out before the snap, the defense may have been a little bit over-eager that time. Defense. defense. Mental mistake by the defense. It's a five-yard penalty. The quarterback now all alone in the backfield. 
Receiver in motion now. And looking to throw now on first down. Grab behind the line. It's Love it. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. So we reach the two-minute warning as this offense tries to take the lead here before halftime. Pass complete. It's second down now. Back to throw. It's back. And the receiver's got it. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Offense moving to a bunch formation. In the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Caught over the middle. It's Love it. And they pick up the first half of the 23, getting closer to the red zone. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. Georgia setting up for the first and 10 now. And the quarterback dropping back. Running back grabs it on the screen. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain. More than enough to pick up a first down. Boy, this is great execution here on this screenplay to the running back to pick up big yards in the first down. I think in a process, Chris, they send a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you. Georgia now operating in the red zone. First down, we're going to throw the football. Caught quickly. Tackled at the two after the completion. The defense really up against it now. This defense has got to be aware of these quick throws to these wide receivers. They're lucky he didn't come up with more yards. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Now run it here. That's the running back with the ball. They've got him again. Defense making it very tough down here on the goal line. And a timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. This is crucial. Defense needing a stop on third down, trying to force a field goal. Scanning the field. It's back. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Georgia. That kind of play is almost impossible to defend. When the quarterback is throwing the ball with that kind of accuracy and timing, and the receiver runs a route like this, good luck trying to stop it. So maybe this is a great start for this combination, this quarterback and receiver, for a big day. Planning up to try the extra point. PAT makes the score 7 3. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff will see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. And the return starts just inside the end zone. Tackled at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. Let's see what they do here in the final minute of the half. Try to get aggressive and cut into this lead or play it safe. So, second down after the incompletion. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, this is a beautiful play when the timing is right, as we see right here. The receiver's got to do a good job of working his way back to the football as the quarterback is throwing it. The timing here is impeccable. Looking to throw it on first down. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. That big game moves the ball across midfield all the way to about the 36. 
What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. Grab behind the line. It's Judkins. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Grab down the middle. It's Smith. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Strong game by this quarterback. They were backed up to start the drive at some bold play calling, great execution in the Reese Anza. You know, it's easy to just kind of pull your horns in and get conservative when you're pushed way back close to your own goal line, but not this offense. They came out, showed the confidence that they have in their quarterback, and it paid off. Nice touchdown. And now they'll set up for the point after. The PAT puts them up three. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. Looks like the returner will try and field this one. Tackle at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. So here comes the first play of the drive. Can they do something in the final 30 seconds of the half? Now they'll run a draw play. And it works. The first down to the 35. The offense will now quickly spend the timeout. I like how the offense coordinator here is getting pretty creative. Defense is obviously expecting a pass. So he decides to catch him off guard and goes with the draw play. Gonna have to be more aware of that going forward. In a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Well, that's exactly what you need to do as a receiver in these kind of situations near the end of the half. Get some positive yards, but also stopping the clock is just as important. Back to throw. It's back. And he's got it. So a timeout is called. Just a few seconds left here in the first half. So on first down, the field goal unit will come out there trying to get three points before the half. Field goal try. No good. He missed it. A missed chance to tie this game. Still down by three. Well, that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. Poor kicker. One more play before they head to the locker room. First down, we're going to throw the ball. And they heave it deep downfield. Caught right near the sideline for a big game. Meadows going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Man, we wondered all week how this one was going to play out. And through two quarters of ball, the answer is like a good old-fashioned barn burn. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. It's time to throw it back to our guys in the booth to start up the second half. Dogs will kick this deep to begin the second half. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And they've got the returner corralled. Here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. First play of the second half, they keep it on the ground. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Well, here's the first play to start this second half, and it's really more the same of what we saw in the first half. Really no need to make drastic changes. What you were doing in that first half gave you the lead. Just keep working on it. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? 
Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. That's exactly what we saw right there. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback keeps the football. Gets the first and still running. Tackle made to the 41. That's a nice gain getting closer to midfield. Man, is this guy difficult to deal with or what? When your quarterback can just say, I am pulling this down and I am taking off myself on the option. He has that kind of speed. As a defense, all you can do is just say your prayers. Buckeyes with first and ten here. Toss play. Back heads to his right. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, a great job here by this defense. They're trying to bounce this to the outside, take advantage of his speed in the backfield, but no chance at all. The defensive speed, and ability to diagnose the play, blows it up. Important second down play coming up. Ball handed off. Gets into space at the 50. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. The Buckeyes looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Caught over the middle. It's a Buka. They stop him after a six-yard game. So second and four. Dropping back. It's Howard. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. The quarterback sees that this defense is dropping way back in zone coverage, so he does the right thing. Gets it underneath to that track route and picks up a first down. The Buckeyes are going to cash in here in the red zone. Trying the run, it's Henderson. Right down after a seven-yard game, so it's second and three. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. He's got it. Looking for the end zone. Tackle at the six-yard line after the completion. Offense really threatening now. That's an easy completion for the quarterback, finding his receiver just dragging underneath cover. Buckeyes come to the line with first and goal. And he'll get there. Touchdown, Ohio State. So the offense flexing here, Kirk, and stretching their lead here in the second half. Now that touchdown gives you a little bit more breathing room, but now it's up to your own defense to help preserve that lead so you can go back out and build onto it in the second half. And they get set now to try the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. 
No doubt the last drive was deflating. They had to settle for a field goal attempt, but missed it. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. A completion makes it second down. Little eye candy here from the offense. Some pre-snap motion. Off an RPO, the quarterback looks to his right. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. Here comes the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving this defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Looking downfield, it's back. Receiver makes the catch. And he moves the ball across midfield and picks up the first down. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. This Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Caught in the backfield. It's eating in. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. And the wideout goes in motion. On the run, it's ETN. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Look, I realize on any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Georgia getting set with a first and ten now. And the tailbacks got it again. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off, and there's nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call, and they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. Now, this is the eighth play on this drive. They look to throw it here on second down. That's caught. It's love it. Man heads out of bounds after a decent game. Well, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Got to do something here on third down to get back in range. Can he get there on the ground? Brought down to the 27. It's a first down. This offense really threatening now. You know, even though that these guys are facing a deficit, they're not just going all through the air. Love the fact that you're running the football, keeping this defense honest, not panicking by just throwing every single down. Now you get a new set of downs and a chance to keep moving the ball down the field. A 
On first down, they'll keep their running game churning. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, the play is just blown up by the big fella in the middle, Kirk, showing some quickness for his size. Yeah, we know about his power, but how about his ability to penetrate there? And that's the quickest way to blow up a run game is that interior penetration. If you're able to break through the middle of that offensive line, then you can create a lot of havoc in the middle. And he dumps it off to the tight end. I mean, they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down marker. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up the fourth down now. Well, that's an incompletion. That'll bring up fourth down, and makes you wonder if the offensive coordinator is reevaluating. Maybe a run there might have been the safer call. So here comes the kicking team on the field. They'll settle for three. And it's good right down the middle. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. He's going to bring this out a few yards deep in the end zone. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. On that last touchdown drive, they just pounded away with the ground game. Let's see if that formula works again. He pulls in the catch. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Boy, what a throw and catch again by the Ohio State Buckeye offense. When you think about how Ohio State has been able to really grow over the years, go back and think about Chris Carter back in the 80s and Joey Galloway in the 90s, and of course, most recently with Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave, Jackson Smith and Jigba. So many great receivers, and it's been fun to watch this young man today. They bring him down, but the game moves the ball into enemy territory at the 43. Man, is he pretty to watch run this option. He is so dangerous with the threat to run or to throw. This time he keeps it himself, and you can see how much ground he eats up with that kind of speed. Catch made on the out route. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, anytime a quarterback has a day like this, really, it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now, and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. On first down, it's play action. Looking for his big tight end. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football, and now it's second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Dropping back, it's Howard. Receiver looks it in, it's complete, and uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. The Buckeyes getting set on first and ten. Toss play to the outside. He shreds the tackle. Tackle way behind the line. He'll lose six there. Well, setting the edge, a lot of times you'll rely on that offensive tackle to do the job with the line of scrimmage. Sometimes it's a tight end or maybe the H-back. But someone has got to set the edge of the line of scrimmage to give them a spot to go. If you're not able to do that, you're not able to turn the corner and make a big play. Takes the handoff, heads to the right. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. 
Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. So after consecutive losses, they got to come up with something here on third and very long. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. They got him. Defense comes up with a sack. Interesting call here by the defense in their dime set with six defensive backs. Instead of manning up and applying pressure on the receivers, they sit back, make it tougher on the quarterback, make him have to read their zone coverage. He gets confused and allows the defensive line to get to the quarterback. So the decision is to not go for it, but settle for three. Here comes the field goal team. This will be a 46-yard attempt. Well, Kurt, Ohio State has the lead here after one. We reach the end of the third. Time is running out to cut into this lead. Let's check out the game stats before we go on. One quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. It's one fourth down. It's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. And that kick right down the middle. Can't hit it any better than that. And they add to their lead. Now, oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. He'll take the return and try to get some better field position. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. It's hard to win these games just kicking field goals. They need to find the end zone here, some urgency. Gaining some breathing room now. Tackled at the 26. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking to throw, it's back. Grab made by the tight end. An effective play, good for a first down of the 35. It's a nice completion there, Chris. This possession at this point in the game is critical for them. They've got to focus on putting points on the board right now to make this a one-possession game. First down and 10. A handoff to the back. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun looking for a receiver. It's a quick grab. Tackled, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 45. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Had been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. And the Bulldogs pick up enough yardage to keep this drive rolling. Trying to find room. It's ETN. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Chris, overall, it's been a tough day for this offense, but especially for this running back, just not able to find any kind of traction at all. And it's made this offense somewhat one-dimensional and a large reason they're trailing in the fourth quarter. Getting set. Here's second down. Here's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Lovett. And they wrap him up after the completion just short of the first down marker. One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. Can they convert on third down to keep this drive rolling? Try and muscle for the first down. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. 
Hey, it's a nice pickup. You got the first down on the ground. That's a great job. But remember, it's a two-possession game. You got to pick it up a bit. This defense will welcome those kind of plays all game long because the clock will keep moving. So you got to put that ball in the end zone and try to get the ball back. Georgia setting up for the first and 10 now. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Bell. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Ooh, that was pretty. The receiver broke down his defender on that curl against man-to-man -man coverage. That's how you win one-on-ones. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. And the tight end goes in motion before the snap. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. Pass caught. Can he get in? And he's run out after a big game. The offense has been set up for first down and goal. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. And they're trying to punch it in here. He powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Dogs. That's a crucial score, Kirk. Makes it a one-possession game and makes the stretch run of this very interesting. Yeah, now the pressure turns to their opponent and their offense. Momentum is starting to tilt, and it's your job to go into your four-minute offense. And I'd expect this defense to be extra aggressive to try to get this ball back. And they'll set up for the PAT. PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. Kickoff team is on the field to move this one away. And Turner looking to make a play here. Makes it with the 16. That's good coverage there. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. Remember, it was a field goal in the last possession. Let's see what they can come up with this time. On first and 10, looking to throw. Nice grab. It's Smith. Oh, and he goes down after a short game. That's not enough for the first down. Second down here. Play action fake, looking to throw. And he cannot escape the defense with a sack. Well, you gotta do a better job with your fake as the quarterback. The defense did not bite at all on the play action, allowing them to continue to come after the quarterback and come up with that sack. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Looking to make a play deep downfield. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Buckeyes. No chance to catch him. Chris, how dangerous is this offense? Well, of course, you know about the receivers and those vertical shots, but here's an example. You get the ball and the running back out in space, takes it all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point, up and good. A double-digit lead now here in the fourth quarter. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. 
return starts from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. The last possession was a passing game clinic. They moved it right down for a touchdown. And they keep it going. Runs through the defender. Tackle made after a solid run by the junior. Well, anytime I'm evaluating running backs, it's not just about speed and size and what he brings to the team. It's also about his toughness. Yards after the contact. What kind of balance does he have? How about that run right there? You can bet his teammates and his coaches are very proud of that effort. What a heck of a run there for a nice game. And then first down right back to the running game. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, held him just at two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably thinking about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking to throw, it's back. Fires it to the wideout. It's complete. What a grab near the sideline. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. Georgia getting set with a first and 10 now. Offense looking to throw the ball. Looking to set up a screen pass here. And the tackle is made. The screen pass there produces a solid gain. Good time here to drop this screen in by the offensive coordinator. And a nice job by the running back being able to pick up some positive yards here on this play. Whiteout's now clustered. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Caught behind the line. It's Bell. Interesting call here, Chris, with a screen pass in the fourth quarter late in the game. I think they're expecting the defense to get upfield on the pass rush. But give the defense all the credit. Recognizing it, almost really anticipating that this screen was coming, and then rallying to the ball. Can they keep this drive going, try to convert on third down now? And they pick up the first on the ground. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Well, that shows you the trust they have in their offensive line in this running game. To get to a third down, just trying to come up with a way to be able to keep this drive alive, keep hope alive that you can come back in this game. You rely on old reliable with that offensive line, and they come through for you. This is the sixth play on the drive. The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. Quick throw. That's an RPO caught on the left side. The tackle made at the 26-yard line. This offense getting closer to the red zone. First and 10 now for the offense. Looking to pass. It's back. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. A big hit by the linebacker, able to knock him down. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Takes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Ball is incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. Well, this is just an outstanding job by this defender being in phase against this receiver and being able to tip that ball away. He actually tips it up into the air. The offense catches a break that that ball is not intercepted. So now it's third and short from the 23. Potential four down territory. Let's see what the third down call is. And they'll stop him just short of the marker. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. Coach electing to go for a field goal attempt. Kick is good. Gives the offense three points to show for that drive. 
snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. And so it'll be a touchback. Ball's fired at the 25. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. This game just got tighter. The temptation might be to sit on this lead, but we'll see how aggressive they get. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Everything about this play tells you about today's offenses and what they're asking out of their running backs. You can't just be a guy who runs the football anymore. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't do a very good job of it on this play. And throwing again on second and ten. Airing this one out toward the sideline. The outfield shot is incomplete. Brings up third down. But Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. Tough situation with the offense. Third and long from their 25. Let's see if the defense brings some heat here. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Oh, that would really hurts for this defense. They get these guys the third down, a chance to maybe get them off the field, and they give up a first down late in the game. The clock will continue to roll. The Buckeyes come to the line in the hurry up. Keep it on the ground to work the clock here. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Positive yards are always important for an offense, but at this stage of the game, late in the ball game, playing with the lead, you're thinking about working that clock and continuing to keep the ball in bounds. Offense getting set. Second down play here. And the single back takes the handoff. Breaks loose at the 40. They've got him, but it's a huge game. They'll spot it about the 27. Yeah, I like this call here late in the game like this with the lead. Nothing too fancy. Just right up the middle. Trust that offensive line and this running back and just keep working that clock. Buckeyes pick up enough yardage to get a first down. We head now to the two-minute warning as this offense tries to bleed out the clock and secure this win. The Buckeyes starting a new series here on first and ten. The shotgun handoff here. And that football is out. A potentially game-changing play, but who's got it? And the defense jumps on the football. Oh, what a play by this defense. Trailing in the second half. Really, the only way you can get back into this game is create turnovers. Ball's on the ground, they pounce on it, and they get the ball back to their own offense. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Last possession produced a field goal. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Dropping back, it's Beck. Bringing pressure. Hit as he released it. That's incomplete, even on a first down pass attempt. He felt heavy pressure. Hey, really good call here by the defensive coordinator working with the lead in the fourth quarter. Get six defensive backs with that dime look. Cover as much ground as you can and have as much speed as you can. But the quarterback may have been confused there and just threw the ball away. And the QB will try again on second and ten. He pulls it in for a big game. And the coach quickly calls timeout after the play, trying to hold on to as much time as possible. Well, I'll tell you what. This guy's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. And here we are, late in the game. He needs to continue to play with that consistency. That's a great example that he's up to. 
Oh, nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. It is really tough on a quarterback when he thinks he's got a completion, an open man downfield. The ball is just about to get to his receiver, then out of nowhere, the defensive back steps in front of it and knocks away. Nice job. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. He's running out of time here. Cannot get the throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this stage of the game. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying the lead. They get to the line in a hurry here for this third down. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. Finds his man. It's ETN. He's stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. Chris, I love to see this. Nothing open downfield, so he does the right thing by checking it down to his back, who's dangerous in the open field, picks up some really good yards, but that clock is still a big factor here. Down one possession in the fourth quarter, and the offense is going to try to convert here on fourth down. Looking to throw for the first down. Looking for his big tight end. Makes the catch, and that is enough for a first down. They've got it, but they convert on fourth down, and the drive keeps going. They continue to march toward a game-tying touchdown. It's first and ten. Back to pass. It's back. Quick throw, testing the middle. He's got an open man downfield, but it's caught. The tackle is made, but the offense is now set up with a first and goal from the eight. Great chance for the offense to tie the game. First and goal. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. He's got it right near the end zone. And he's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's check out this call. Right, playing defensive back has got to be the toughest job out there right now in college football. You get isolated on islands against these freaky, talented receivers. It's hard enough to be able to stay up with them and try to make a play on the ball, and often end up bumping them downfield when you get a call like this. Second and goal for the offense. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. And it's caught. Touchdown, Bulldogs. What a touchdown here to pull them within one with under a minute to go. Conventional wisdom says you kick the extra point and you rely on your defense to send this game to overtime. But you could go for two to try to take the lead. The coach says, forget OT. We're going for two to take the lead right here. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. And it's caught. The gutsy call pays off for two points, and they take the lead here late. Now they get set to kick it away. And with time, a factor here late in the game, he'll just take a knee, and they'll start the drive with a 25. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. Interesting strategic decision. They've got some time to work with. He'll take a deep shot here. There's a fastball, but it's intercepted. Can he take it all the way? At the 30 now. Running right through tacklers. And he steps out of bounds after a great return. What a hit. Sets up the offense in great position. Wow, what a play by this defense to come up with the interception and a big return. They almost take it to the house, but you've got to give the quarterback some credit. Yeah, he threw a pick, but he didn't give up on the play and hang his head. Instead, he makes the tackle to prevent the defense from scoring. First and goal. A late touchdown here would just about secure the victory. 
And the quarterback keeps it here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And a timeout stops the clock with just seven seconds remaining in the game. So from the nine-yard line, it's second and goal. They'll try to power it in right up the middle. And a timeout is taken. Just three seconds left. Time for one last play. So this one is tucked away. Time for victory formation. The ball is snapped, and the quarterback will just take a knee. And a timeout is taken. Just two seconds left on the clock. They'll keep the kicking team on the sideline, try to extend the lead here with a touchdown on fourth and goal. They're going to run it here. Now he didn't make it. He's going to be tackled short of the marker. A huge stop by this defense. On fourth down, they get the football back here in this tight game. 